Bob, did you hear about the job application? Is that why you're here? Or are you just here to see me? Well, you definitely won't get a job with those trades. Jesus. Hey, welcome back everyone to another episode of our Let's Play. As you can see, we're here in our lab and yes, I've gotten some more done. Oh man, this slime has been through a lot. <laughs> and mainly the quartz problem. And also my world got corrupted. That's also a problem. But <laughs> yeah, this quartz. Oh man, as you can see, I've been working in this room mainly and all this quartz right here is hours and hours of work. It's pretty insane, and I'm not even finished, but look at here. Oh, the main hall. Um, I'm still going undergoing some like design ideas, so it's still all a work in progress. So, But this is, I think, the rough light of what the main hall is going to look like. As you can see, it's kind of lighted right here because I'm trying to figure out how I want torches to be under this. It's all lit up right now, by the way, is because this is all slabs, and above that, I took out all of the ground... So, <laughs> as you can see, it, there's going to be a lot of light come through. But when it turns nighttime, it gets really dark down there. So, I'm going to end up covering this back up because I don't want, like, uh, like you know, lighting shifts to happen. It just looks weird. Oh, God. It almost killed me. I'm 52 levels. I need to be careful. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I want to branch it down that way. And these, these walls are going to be all lined up with uh, different, like, science rooms. Discovering different things research and all that and I got an ending down here And I think it's gonna tee off into down that way and that way for some more room It's got my beacon in there right now, but tools are being depleted. I've already used up all the tools that got their health regenerated um, You know from the little glitch uh, Work pick is almost broken instead of repairing these which is gonna cost like 30 levels Why not spend three levels and get the chance of making a brand new pick? I don't know why I didn't think of that. I do need efficiency five though, so hopefully we can get two efficiency four picks and combine them. This is peaceful. I'm flying in the clouds because I just realized something. This slime is out of diamonds. Oh God. You heard me right. We are actually out of diamonds. The only diamonds I have is what in my inventory right now, and that's two. None in here, none in the uh, the, 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 the vault, so <laughs> I actually have to go mining for diamonds, which I need to actually do a mining episode here pretty soon, so, but uh, I'm not going to do that today. Um, got some picks, a little bit of life in them still. I'm just going to mine randomly and see if we can come across some. I just need a few diamonds. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was mining and then I hit it and I was like, whoa! <laughs> uh, but we got some. One, two, three, four. Look how far I mined. <laughs> Five. No, six. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, I got my dealer pick on me. Let's go ahead and break these down real quick. I I suggest, I think we got two, so we'll get, we'll get a grand total of 11 diamonds. I bet you I am wrong. 13. God, I mean, that's better. <laughs> So one issue I have been having on here is, well, if you're on the beta too, don't, and I mean don't, adjust your render distance, especially in the nether. I think that's what caused it in the nether, but I'm, yeah, actually I think it was. Um, but I think I have a bad chunk in the nether because I went back in the nether and I went to the same area and my game kept crashing. So I think if I load a certain chunk in the nether, it crashes. And what led to all this corruption stuff is after my game crashed in the nether, I couldn't join my world back and I had to go deep down into the files and change the dimension ID to like one to zero and it spawned me back in my world somewhere. Oh, I thought I was screwed for a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and see what we get here. I will take that. Screw you game. I will take that. That is all right. As much as I don't want to spend all my levels, I still want to do that goal where I reach 100 levels, but we are in the middle of a crisis of trying to get this lab done and I need all the tools I can get so I'm just going to go ahead and go on an enchanting spree of level three books okay uh, let's see what we get protection four silk touch one okay what else I'm doing it god that was stupid I shouldn't have done that actually feather f ah smite god this is awful oh god thorns one no feather falling four again oh Efficiency four. That's what I was looking for. Sweet. I was fishing a lot in between episodes to try to get mending to put on one of these work picks so I don't have to constantly repair them, but I got no luck. But I did get some good stuff. I got seven name tags, for example. Look at that book. 
Oh my gosh. And that's what I'm looking for in breaking. Pop that on that. Beautiful. Then pop that on that. Efficiency five. Can't remember, is the Turbo Silk now retired? It is, oh boy. You've done us well, Turbo Silk. You may now join the shelf of retirement. I'm still using the Expeditious too. This was in retirement, but I gotta go, wait, Bob. Oh, Bob is fixed. Eh, Bob's average. Chainsaw? Silky Spade. All right, now that I got my tools fixed, let's get to work. The reason why this episode is kind of late, by the way, is because all I've been doing is just grinding, uh, not literally, just been uh, mining and building like this. And it's not that interesting to record, so that's why I've been just getting it all done as quick as I can. And then we can start, I want to start recording like the fun projects we're going to put into this place. Okay, so that should make the lighting situation better, but I'm gonna go ahead up top now and fill all of it up with dirt so it'll be a constant light source in there. That definitely looks interesting. <laughs> all right, I'm finishing it up here. And while I'm doing this, uh, I wanna address some comments that I saw. Usually I don't usually like respond to these type of comments, but I saw quite a few of them. And it was the fact that I am copying people I know I know I should ignore these type but I actually had quite a bit and it just blows my mind that um, a Minecraft community can still consider someone building something copying someone else <laughs> um, for example like everyone was saying that this looks like Iscal or I Scal, I don't know how you say his name <laughs> Iscal 88's lab build and I went to his channel I couldn't even find his lab build or something I just want you guys to know that I am not this is going to be a hundred percent my build and um, if someone else is building a lab on YouTube or just uh, not even a lab just a similar project don't automatically assume that they're copying them because Minecraft is about building whatever you want and you can't really copyright a build <laughs> All right, it's night time. Moment of truth. Does it look? Uh, it's pretty. Oh God. Uh, see, I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. This is such a tough thing to work with. This lighting. Maybe I can put some lighting under here, but those aren't slabs. I think there are polished diorite slabs, though. It's just so much blackness on the walls there. Okay, now that is a slight improvement. It actually definitely is. I don't. I just don't like the weird lines you see, and that's mainly caused by because I have one end rod every so often as you can see right there i smoothed all that out but i had to turn these into slabs and have a torch ev under every block right there now the question is how can i get rid of these lines up here i could somehow put a lighting source maybe above that stair block oh this is getting tricky which means i'll have to do a whole lot of digging up top and strategic torch placing but it's worth it right see if that makes things oh Thank you, Lord. Wait. Wait, did I just not cover it? Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hey. No. Okay, that was glitchy. Oh, I, dang it, I missed two blocks. Dang it. Uh, okay, as you can see, I put glowstone down. Please don't tell me that ruins it. No, it doesn't, okay. All right, I found a fix, that's good. We're gonna have a little bit of darkness in here. And I'm, I'm probably gonna play around with this to get rid of these lines in here. But as long as I get rid of those annoying shadow lines, that's good. So what I did, torches all under here, replace these with slabs, and then glowstone all across there. So I'm going to have to make a lot of nether visits, man. But it'll be worth it. Good lighting. Looks good. Ow. Oh, no. Did I cover that? Oh, well. I'm just going to go. Oh, forget it. I'm just going to get this done. We're struggling up in here. I'm running out of food. I planted some berries. <laughs> they work. But uh, yeah, it's been a little bit since I've recorded again, but I did get a lot done. Um, I'm gonna run you guys through some of that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and they changed it, you see that? You no longer like get it immediately in your inventory. If you do that, it does that. And I don't like that because if you try to go too close when collecting it, you get stabbed to death. <laughs> um, but let me run you through some stuff. Lots 
and lots of progress has been done. Um, may not look like it, but there has been. Mainly, you know, we were having issues with lighting. Um, finish the dome. This is what it's going to look like. That's all white stained. And then the middle cross, that's all light gray stained. Um, I finished all this in here. Check this out. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this took a lot of quartz again. Oh, my gosh. Um, but it was worth it. Again, it's worth it because when you go to another grab, grab all the quartz, you get a lot of levels to repair your picks and stuff. So, um, But I love the way this room turned out. Again, this room isn't really going to be much. This is just like, I don't even know what I'm going to put in here. I know for a fact in the middle every so often, I'm going to put like a glass case and something really unique on the inside that maybe we're researching in this place. So that'd be cool. And I might put some like glass along here and some receptionists back there. Um, but the main hall, remember we're having lighting problems with this. This is the final product. All dirt is above this, so there's no lighting coming through from the sky. What happened there? Oh, I think I'm starting to figure out where I want rooms to be. But as you can see as well, we got rid of the lines on the floor because I'm going to have an issue getting out of here. I did. Uh, I did that. Oh my gosh, so many torches. But um, I strategically placed them in a way where... Well, um, you don't have any of those dark spots. And same as in here. This was the hardest room. You should have seen this floor before I put all the torches. Look in here. Oh, my gosh. And I had to do this block above it because, remember, we dug out below at one point. But, man. Oh. And I did all lighting in here as well. There's lighting all under these slabs. Lots of work has been done. It may not look like lots of work, but there is. Um... So now I'm at the point where I can actually start making my first research room if I wanted. Oh yeah, it's been a few days since I recorded on here, so I was <laughs> forgot what I was doing. Right here was where this room was going to go, and this specific room was instead put down here. And, well, <laughs> look how much I had to dig out for this room. <laughs> um, this room is going to be at the very end of the hallway. This hallway is going to tee off, like I said, left and right. But this room right here, this is going to be known as... I haven't, I haven't got a name for it yet, but it's going to be white walls on the left and right, all on the... It's just going to be... Crap, what do you call it? A simulation room. A simulation of the real world. So at top, we're going to have a slab roof, and that is going to be our lighting. It's going to simulate day and night in here. Um, it's going to be pretty tall, too. It's going to be all white walls to make it look kind of futuristic, but on the ground in here is going to be just a natural, lush wildlife of Minecraft. And this is a room where we can, like, you know do experiments on animals or just whatever we want to outside it's supposed to be like a simulation room so i don't know what biome i'm going to do i just now realized the grass in here is going to be of a mountain biome so i might just plant spruce trees in here possibly uh, i've been i've been finding a lot of like stuff in the nether too i've been exploring the nether quite a bit and finding some like unique structures that have like new stuff in it actually i want to figure out how many gas tiers i got all together <laughs> 21 not bad and i have 21 in here oh my god i have 42 gas tiers wow <laughs> don't you worry guys i didn't forget about this at all it's always in the back of my head um I, like i said i'm just getting a kickstart on the lab and then i'm gonna start this new thing i mentioned a couple episodes ago where i gotta pick out like five four or five different projects and then in one episode every episode i have to work on that each one a tiny bit to get stuff done on it so oh that looks good Oh, I love the sky through that. Oh, I love vibrant, like, oh, purplish skies, so. Oh, I love that. Oh, I can't wait to make my observatory, too. Um, now, uh, oh, yeah, a lot of you mentioned I should make, like, a satellite for my observatory, but I'm actually, it's going to be a practical observatory. It's actually going to be open. Like, as you see this right here, it's going to be something like this. There's going to be, like, a lot of technical stuff in here to make it look cool. But the whole top side of my observatory globe or dome is going to be empty so we can actually, of course, look at the sky. Because weirdly enough, I want to I want to try to look for like constellations. That will be kind of interesting, you know, just like a relaxing area. And I already have an area I didn't really mention where it's going to be. I think I'm going to have, well, it's going to be called uh, ob uh, Observatory Island or something. I don't know. But if you didn't know, we had an island over here. Oh, look at those beautiful stars right here. This is the island right here, and oh, I got so much other stuff to show you. So much has been going on, and I think I want to put the dome right here. As you can see, that is where I put a hallway that uh, we might go over this way, and look what I found. When I was doing that, I looked over here, and there was a skeleton horse in the water. I'm like, I was so happy. We can finally have another one. I walked near it, and I guess that's a new feature in the game or something. It exploded into three skeleton horses with skeletons riding. <laughs> I hope they're still up here, 
And, um, I killed the skeletons. Oh, no, they came back for their horses. Ah, uh, and they're in this hole. Go away. I've been using a normal bow again. Here they are! Oh, my gosh. And I forgot you don't need saddles to ride these guys. And look, they have, like, slow motion jumps. Which one had the best? Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. Which one was the best, though? Oh, yeah, this guy. Look at that. Is it just me, or are they kind of, like, slow motion-y? Is this the new shivers? We won't call them shivers, but... I miss riding horses. Ah. See, we need to put our elytra wings away for a while. Because I miss riding stuff like that. Even though elytra wings are so nice to have. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with this hallway. I have it turning over this way. But I, I'm not feeling... I don't know if I want it to go that way or not. And I don't even know if I want this hallway to be this big. Because the main hall is supposed to be the biggest hallway. So I might reduce the size of this one. Um, before we do anything further, I want to go ahead and try messing around and putting the logo outside in the front of this place. Oh, hi, brown horsey. You look fast. I already have a brown horse. Oh, well. <laughs> um, okay. So, I'm still having troubles with the entrance design. I don't even know what I want this to look like. I don't know if I want a building protruding here or just a simple little door. We'll figure out something, though. So, I think right over here, I shouldn't even be building this yet, but I, I want to experiment, like I said. So, I think that, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So, this is just a test. Don't worry. Um, and then we're going to have these blocks. Wait, no. We got to have these blocks. <laughs> I think. Hang on. I, is, all right. I think I'm going to do. I think I wanted. No. I need more. I would put glowstone where these torches are at, but I ran out. <laughs> so something like that. And then we are going to have stair. Stair. That doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, it does. That, that, and then we're going to have that, that. No. No. Oh. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Hold on. There. 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 Yay, there it is. I think that's going to be our logo, the Slime Science Center. I, I At first I said Slime Science Corporation, but that doesn't seem right. We need Slime Science Center. And I love how that turned out. SSC. I love you can do that so simply with those letters, and it turned out great for us. So um, I want it to glow like that. It's not. I don't know if it's going to be right there for sure. I also want to build one inside as well, probably in that big, like crescent room. I think it looks good. Today's comment question of the day comes from Stud Lads, and of course, I had to pick this one. Have you seen Endgame yet? And if you have, how was it for you? So uh, if you're still watching and haven't seen. Avengers Endgame yet, major spoilers ahead. Click out if you don't want to, because I hate spoilers. I'd understand, trust me. Three, last chance. Tony died! No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry if you didn't click away fast enough, no. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Endgame is probably the... I, it's hard to compare it to Infinity War, because Infinity War, before Endgame, was my favorite movie of all time. Seeing them all come together and fight. But Endgame was something else. Yeah, I think Endgame is a little better. Even though I lost both of my favorite superheroes in the Marvel Universe. Um, but yeah, I kind of saw the death of uh, Iron Man coming. Because he's just getting old. I think he just... Isn't he in his 60s now? Robert Downey Jr.? I mean, we all saw it coming. I didn't see it like that, though. That was pretty cool. Because, you know, his, his new armor was nanotech. And it was pretty cool seeing them make an Infinity Gauntlet from his Iron Man suit. Um, and then defeating Thanos because Thanos had it on. And then he walks up to him and um, has to put his glove on his. And then the nanotech transfers the gems or the uh, stones over to his. That was just really cool. And then I knew as soon as I saw it on his glove, I'm like, yep, he's dying. Because he's, he's, a, he's a normal man. He can't take the power of the stones like that but yeah i saw that coming um pretty sad to see him go i thought that would be he'd be able to at least end his career living with his new daughter that was pretty sad though that his now his daughter doesn't have a dad to live with um uh and the other stuff such as like professor hulk i thought that was really cool a lot of people didn't really like it um but they should have explained the backstory of it a bit he explained a little bit how he was able to make himself smart within the hulk body but not a whole lot it just came out of nowhere and hulk dabbing i don't know about that but <laughs> other than that it was really cool seeing hulk being able to be illiterate like you know 
talk normal. <laughs> and then Fat Thor. Oh, that was probably the highlight of the movie. A lot of people probably did. I don't think a lot of people liked that either, but I know a lot did. It made the movie so, so good. Um, and then the end fight Thor, the one when he was able to, you know, make himself look like a Viking. And he wielded Mjolnir and Stormbreaker at the same time. That was probably the coolest stuff in there. And the best part of the movie, in my opinion, was Captain America wielding Mjolnir. That was because remember in Avengers: Age of Ultron, everyone's picking up the hammer at the trying to pick up the hammer, and uh, obviously Thor was like, "You have to be worthy." And no one got close. And then Cap, you know, budged it a little, and um, I, I think Cap could have lifted it right there, but he just didn't because he didn't want to embarrass Thor. But then when the came when the moment came in Endgame, he lifted it, and that was so awesome. <laughs> um, and then Cap, of course. I didn't see that coming either. At the end, Cap was returning all the stones to the natural timeline, and I did not know he would actually stay back in the 70s and live. It was satisfying to see that happen, but it was also sad to see him really old, because I love Cap. I don't like the idea that he handed over the shield to Falcon, though. I think they should have just ended Cap right there, but there's a movie coming out next called uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, so I guess it's just going to be Captain, the new Captain America, which is not going to work out for me. Chris Evans will always be the best Captain America. Wow, I went on a lot about that. Endgame was amazing. Thank you for your question. And um, I look forward to the new Avengers coming out after this with the new line of people. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey, Rick. Look at Rick patrolling my house. Good job, Rick. Bye-bye.